the pond. Yes, I said it. Think about how big a pond is. Out of all the bodies of water, it's the smallest one. And so many times in life, I see it's confined in that pond because it feels safe. We feel comfortable. We kind of can keep doing the same things over and over and over again because we can kind of see that outline, that boundaries of the pond. But I'm here to tell you, get out of that pond. Take a chance and step out of it and find something to explore that's much bigger than that. Hi, everybody. My name is Craig. Welcome to Small Nuggets, Big Change. I want to thank my dear friend, amazing author, leader, Dr. Chris Jones for doing this with me. We love what we're doing. We love coming out with small nuggets to kind of help you make change in your life. If you get a chance, please support our channels. Mine is Cutting the Crap with Shaq. His is Seeing to Lead. And we'd love your comments, feedback. It would really be appreciated. So when I say get out of a pond, right, what I mean is explore new opportunities. As I said, it's very easy to keep doing the same things over and over just because we all get comfortable. We feel safe. And yes, we should feel safe. That's important. But we also don't want to limit our opportunities to grow. I think if you step out of the pond, you have an opportunity to meet new people that might have a huge positive impact on your life. It might open up new business ventures or a new job. Or when it comes to wellness, I'm a fitness person, a strength training guy, but I also think it's important to try new things and not just keep doing the same thing over and over again, because I believe that just limits our potential for growth, for change. And those things are really important. And it doesn't matter whether you're young or old. So here are a couple quick things to do to get out of the pond. First of all, you got to step out of it. You got to take that small little risk and step out of that pond into something else. Nothing huge because you, you still want to feel safe, but taking that small first step is key. Secondly, find other people to come out of the pond with you. It seems crazy, but finding those other people can make a huge difference. And third, always kind of think about the progress you're making because that will keep you out of the pond without jumping back in. So I can't wait to hear what my good friend Dr. Jones has to say, and I will be back with a wrap up to after that. Thanks again for all you do. You are awesome. Hey everybody, Doc Jones here with another episode of Small Nuggets, Big Change, a show designed to provide you small little nuggets that you can turn into big changes in your life. I do this with my good friend, Craig Shapiro, who's a fantastic teacher, podcaster, author. You should really check out his show and subscribe to it. It's Cutting the Crap with Shap. We'd both really appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe here because... We thank you and are grateful for you taking the time to listen. But by doing that and leaving a comment, it'll spread it around so more people have the opportunity to do that and really help us grow what we're doing here. Now, Craig sent this uh, prompt for me this week. It's get out of the pond. And when I hear get out of the pond, I think about a big fish in a small pond. I think about people playing small and not playing big because it's comfortable. So you have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to challenge yourself to actually get better at things and do better at things. And one of the things that comes to mind is wrestling tournaments. So when you go to wrestling tournaments, there's different wrestling tournaments all over the place, but wrestlers know which ones are a little safer so they can practice their techniques and which ones are, oh man, I better bring my A game today because they've got a wider range of difficulty levels. So how do we do this in life? Because we have to get uncomfortable if we want to get better and we need to know what goals are small pond and what goals are big pond. It's all about expectations and taking chances. The next time you set a goal, I want you to look at that goal and I want you to think of just a little higher bar of achievement or expectation and set the goal there. You can write out the original goal, but then put that higher price on it so that you strive a little harder. The next time you're competing against somebody in anything, especially yourself, Bring your A game so that you can compete at a higher level. Search for those opportunities. Get empowered. 
so that you take chances, do things you haven't done before. Because after all, if you continually do the same things, boy, it is comfortable, but you never grow. I want you to take a moment. Close your eyes. Think about where you are now as far as things are with your family, with your business life, with your personal life. And think about where you want to be in three years. Now, I know that's a long time, but picture your future self. And then I want you to 10 times that. I want you to up that and then look at those goals and work backward and get there. Three years too much? Hey, I get it. Do one year. In, in, your, in your work, where do you want to be in a year? Performance reviews, projects, whatever you want to call it. Family life? Picture yourself in a year. What your relationships in your family look like. How much time you've spent. Because once it's gone, you can't get it back. Personal life. What do you want to look like physically? How do you want to feel mentally? And then work backwards. Get out of that small, comfortable pond that you're in and move into that big pond because you know what happens when you're in a bigger pond? You grow bigger. And then eventually what happens is that big pond becomes a small pond with, you guessed it, you as the big fish. And then jump into the lake. You can handle it. Again, thanks for listening. We appreciate it. Take these small steps. Use these small nuggets to make big change in your life. And you can do it. It's not easy. We understand that. But you can do it because you're awesome. I want to thank my friend, Dr. Chris Jones, for his amazing take on Get Out of the Pond. So each week, One of us comes up with a prompt. This week was my prompt, which was get out of the pond. And next week it will be his prompt. And a lot of times we we don't see what each other is going to put out there. We just do our own and then we hear what the other person said. And I love what Dr. Jones said. He talked about being uncomfortable. And that's something that I believe is incredibly important when it comes to getting out of the pond. I mentioned that before that it is easy to get comfortable and safe in that pond. But when you do that, you never see what's out there. And I love Dr. Jones mentioning the sport of wrestling because I was a wrestler and everything he said is true. You talk about wrestling in those small little tournaments where it's safe, where you don't have to do a whole lot of things. But then when you step out of that wrestling tournament to something bigger, you need to work on your technique. You need to try new things to be successful. And I believe that's also critical. I love how he also talked about this idea of goals. Think three years. And then he said, hey, maybe think a year. But think about your personal life, your professional life, how you can improve that by stepping out of that pond. And I think the biggest thing that Dr. Jones said that really impacted me was once you step out of that pond and start seeing success, then you step into this bigger pond and you are the big fish in that pond and then you step into that lake which is what I was talking about earlier so I want to thank you again for checking out our podcast small nuggets big change if you get a chance please subscribe to our channels mine is cutting the crap with chap Dr. Jones is seeing the lead we'd love your support also please leave a comment have a topic that you'd like us to talk about have a questions for us or even a suggestion. We appreciate you. Thank you again for all you do because you are awesome.